taught the hybrid and online teacher training course at Craven Community College. In this video tutorial, we will explore how to make a Moodle page. In this course, I have an example of a Moodle page. A Moodle page is just simply opens to a page that you can use kind of like a website almost or a web page on your Moodle course. So this is an example down here. It says course design activity 50 points. And the nice thing about a Moodle page is you can design it and put a lot of content in it but on your actual Moodle page it shows up like this so it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on your Moodle page as far as a bunch of text. However when you click on it and open it this is the page I developed. So on this page there's just some text and a numbered list but we can get a lot more fancy or complex with our Moodle pages if we want to. So next I'm going to show you how to develop a Moodle page. So here I am in my hot sandbox and I'm going to turn my editing on and I will add an activity or resource and I will scroll down and find the page and select and add. Whatever title I give my page is what will show up on the actual Moodle page. So I'm just going to call this example page and be careful because there have been several times where I typed a whole bunch of items into this description box. This is not what shows up when the student clicks on the actual Moodle page. The content actually goes in the box down here. So this is the content for the page. And so what's really nice about this is you really can put almost anything you want on here that's available in Moodle. So you can type text as I showed you before and you can format it as a heading or with a certain font and you can make it a large heading if that was my title and bold and italics and underline and all of these tools allow you to format your text but then underneath you could do a bulleted list, you could do number a numbered list, you could link something so when you add a link, it's good to put some text and you could actually link the text. So I've written visit the Craven CC website to learn more about the opportunities we offer. And I'm going to select this text, Craven CC website, and select the link option. Now what I usually do is I like to actually copy the link from the web page so I don't make any typos. So I have our website up here, so I'm going to put my cursor in there and do a control C or a right click copy. And now I can just paste that into this area. I always like to open it in a new window and then I'll create the link. So what that's done is it's linked this text to our Craven CC website and the students will be able to click on it just to get into the website. So that's how we use the link. We can undo it by selecting it and undoing the link. We have background colors. We could add an image. So if I put my cursor down and I click that, I can browse my repositories and I can look for a picture and this is a picture of a group that I lead at the college and I'm going to say open and upload. This is our, these are our court instructors and the size is huge. You can see that so I would want to adjust the size. It says auto size so it'll keep the dimensions the same as I change the numbers. So maybe I'll do like a 200 and I'm going to put it in the middle and save image and I have to have a description for somebody who can't see it and I'm going to save the image and now I've got an image on my page so that's how simple it is to add an image we could add a video the same way we could upload a video file or we could put a link in there to a, to a YouTube video or something we could browse looking for a file so there's ways that we can do our URL for our video, we could do an audio, and we can insert our media. So I'm not actually going to go through that today, but you can. I'm just showing you the possibilities when you're doing a page in Moodle. And you could record audio, you could record video, you could upload a file, you could even, uh, you know, format all your text using these tools. And there are, there's an equation editor. If you're a math teacher, you may want to use some of these fancy symbols for your math. And then you would put it into your Moodle page. So that's wonderful. You could write equations and put them on a Moodle page for your students to view. These are symbols. We can do tables. 
and clear our formatting. The undo button is my favorite friend for when I mess up and I can check my accessibility of my page. I can check on my screen reader help and then this is my HTML so you can see the code behind this page. If you have any embed code you can select this tool and copy it here. So Moodle pages are a great way to add content for your students without taking up a lot of space on your actual Moodle page. Once you have your page designed how you like it, you can save and return to course. And all the students will see is the title on this page and when they click on the link, it will open up to the page you created. So that's it. Thank you for joining me for this hot topic of Moodle pages. See you next time.